What's up guys, MUs34 here from Midwinters. I'm over in our sister clan, UGM, right now, bringing you a war recap of a random match we just had with the six Schlitzes. This was a great war. 82-82 uh, tie. Uh, we edged him out on percentage. Uh, we had a little bit of an advantage in this one. We had an extra 11. We had three 11s, uh, seven 10s, one 9.5, and uh, 29 9s to fill. They had two 11s and seven 10s, I believe. Um, I know that they had a lot of guys out at a CWL scrim that was happening uh, on this day, so maybe not their, their all their best guys in, but you know, it was still a fun war. Uh, we did have one of our 11s with a DC here, so really we only have one extra warden attack this war. Uh, this was an awesome war. Uh, we left some 10s up. Uh, one of them only had a one star because we had hit this base with two 11s right at the end because of the DC. Um, so, yeah. And then we had, uh, we had one 10v10 here by Giga. That was just, that was a great attack, uh, and great plan by, um, by, who was it? Uh, I, that was Armin with the plan. So we're going to watch this one first. This was a great attack. Uh, he's going to come in from the top here with a shattered entry, uh, some of his own camp bowlers to help do a nice funnel, and uh, I believe he has CC bowlers on this one. He's going to wall break in here in a minute, just starting his funnel. This elixir collector here is probably what screwed up the uh, first attack by Armin because uh, his queen came in and then ended up jumping out instead of going into the base. So good adjustment there, making the funnel just a little bit wider. Uh, making a really nice funnel. I love these bowlers on the funnel to like take out an archer tower. That's great value. Um, yep, CC bowlers, heroes. Uh, nice funnel. Everything's going in. Jump spell. He's gonna rage him. I think he's even gonna heal the kill squad. Uh, towards the end, poison queen. Nice poison grabs queen CC all at the same time. Uh, still moving through. Getting a really great push out of this kill squad for only two golems. Uh, BK is jumping into the core tank and everything, so he sprinkles a couple hogs in. That's really good, just taking advantage of the tanking. And then he's going to send the rest of his hogs, and in a minute he's going to send a few more onto this mortar to get the funnel into the inferno. Drops a haste spell early. That's just to help the, the hogs get into this inferno. Uh, there's no bombs in this inferno compartment, which we found out on the uh, first hit, so he doesn't need a freeze uh, because of the haste, so that's awesome. And, uh, He's going to get this last heal down early to cover up a giant bomb and this bomb tower here. So, great job there. His queen's actually going to live through this raid. Pops ability right at the end, right as she steps on a bomb. So, great hit. We've got goblin, bowler for uh, cleanup. Queen still up. Bowlers survived in the core. Just a great attack. We can speed this one up for cleanup. So, great job, Giga and uh, Armin. Nice job on that plan. Sorry you didn't get that triple. Alright, uh, moving on here, we are going to have Dehan Solo coming in on number 11. Uh, this is a stoned hobo. This was a really great attack. I um, believe we might have seen this base before somewhere. I'm not sure exactly, but he knew exactly how I wanted to hit this one right when we saw it. Uh, oh, sorry, I had this on times 4. Slow it down. He was making his funnel there with the wizards, getting everything in. Loses the golem to the, some Teslas that pop, but... Uh, Works out, funnel still gets made, and he's just pushing right through this base. Drag comes over to his queen. Uh, it's going to get some shots off, but, you know, she's still alright. And he's pushing through the base. Early hogs where there's tanking. Awesome job there. Uh, hits the bomb tower, but there's really nothing shooting his hogs, so he doesn't need to heal yet. And that's perfect, because he's going to be able to save it for this last little section that his kill squad didn't get to. So, both heroes still up. His queen's only... Queen still has ability, just great job starting some wizards for the funnel, uh, for the cleanup, you know, just a great attack here. We can speed this up because this one's absolutely wrecked. Alright, so we have great, uh, Dahan actually had a six pack this war, so shout out to him. Uh, I think our six packers were Dahan, Chad had one, uh, or no, not Chad, I'm sorry, Guan had one, not Chad. Chad did have a triple. Uh, so, good job there. Uh, yep. Clean up. Fast forward through that. 
nice hit, swag two archers, which is, you know, pretty OP. Uh, next up, I believe we're looking at, um, Lil Guan hitting up with his low heroes, uh, only has 2019 heroes on this one, but, uh, this is a great attack. These exposed ADs really leave it open for drags, which he's bringing on this one. His queen actually does, uh, kind of tries to screw him here, and, uh, she doesn't go up to get the air defense like he was expecting. So, uh, he has to adjust here on the fly. He only has the two hastes for these two ADs, so he's, uh, he's gonna drop four loons in, or maybe five loons with no haste. And they're just barely going to be able to get that AD. And uh, then he starts the drags nice and early, which is great because they could be kind of slow. Um, yep. And they're just kind of moved through. And the great thing about this is he's going to have four spells for this for these drags, which it really helps him move through the base quicker and stay alive. Going to come in with loons for the last AD with the haste. Nice job. And then he's dropping this king with some Valks up at up at tw uh, 12, they're going to be able to kill the queen and get that AD down. CC Hound is going to come out, but that's not really going to be a problem because it won't target his drags. So, yep, just working through the base, going times two this one because drags can be kind of slow. Still is a rage spell left. These drags are doing work. He has a group of drags kind of peel off to the side and uh, work their way around the outside, but that's okay. It works out in the end. Nice rage, gets them through the town hall, really can hold up drags, and then they're just going to finish this one off. Eats a black mind at the end, but this base is wrecked. Uh, he's going to lose one drag to these pups. It's a shame, but he still has like three up, so great great hit to Guan, and he dropped a six-pack this war, so awesome job. Uh, the next one we are going to look at, I, Stone had a nice uh, hero swap penta there. Um... Um, sorry. We are gonna look at. It was number. Oh yeah, it was uh, Brotato, I believe. Our humble leader, Brotato, coming in, and uh, Stone Hobo on this one. Uh, he comes from uh, twelve, and he does these minions and the baby dragon early, which is awesome, because he's coming in at the heroes, which means these golems are going to take a ton of damage. So anything you're able to pre-funnel on an attack like this is just super helpful, because it means you're really only going to lose one one golem while you're doing your funnel. And uh, yeah, so that was that was really smart by Brotato. And he gets a really wide funnel made, so everything's going to go in nicely. And... Uh, great thing with this entry for the stone hobo is you only need one jump to get you know most of this base wrecked so you can bring an extra heal and you can heal your kill squad and your hogs and uh yeah poison in the cc moving through bk gets a little distracted but he should come back oh actually maybe oh uh, yeah bk is gonna break outside because his bowlers did too much work loses some bowlers around the outside because he only had the one jump and there's nowhere else for them to go. But he's still got this golem tanking and uh, this base is pretty wrecked. Except right here, he's going to start popping some Teslas. Uh, heals his hogs, trying to grab the ones on the expo. Kind of misses a little bit and he's actually going to have to heal again right right away for this Tesla farm. But not a big deal because, I mean, his, this base is completely wrecked. He still has both hero abilities, bowlers in the core still. Just a great hit and he brought a loon for the troll Tesla. So, good job. Yep, so, gets a little bit uh, close at the end because he runs out of hogs to that giant bomb, but he's still got his queen with ability, so he's fine. BK is doing a cleanup, should pop that ability soon. Try and speed it up a little bit. And uh, we'll just times for this. Yep, there's his BK. Alright, so next one, and I believe the last one we're going to look at today, is uh, going to be Taminator going in on number 30. Uh, this was a, a really fun attack to watch, actually, because he brought the Lalo, and as someone who sucks at Lalo, I can tell you I love watching other people do it. So, uh, yeah, he's going to zap this AD, 
to because they're overlapping so that can be a real pain on the lado and this is a cleanup and he knows that there is a uh, tesla farm right here but watch the value he gets for just bringing his heroes he's gonna bring a hero swap Brought, brings the loons with the haste in there grabs you know two defenses but he also just pulls the baby dragon out of the cc which is awesome drops a rage with his suicide heroes so he can kill uh get through those storages easily pops bk ability to deal with enemy bk and uh he's looking looking good this with the rage for this queen and these archers they just tear through these teslas so awesome job there she's just barely gonna kill queen and get all four teslas so that's really good value for suicide heroes there so that was a good eye and then he's just gonna come in with the lalo and he's just gonna swarm this base i mean he's got 19 loons that is a shit ton so awesome job uh yeah, he's only got one haste for the Lalo, it's a little bit slow, but, I mean, he doesn't really need it because of the great pathing on this base. I mean, you can pretty much d directly target all of these arch towers and wizard towers on this base, which makes it great for loons. So, yeah, uh, just coming in, drop brings a third hound in, he, he didn't even lose a hound to this first air defense, and, uh, it's just gonna keep sending loons. Uh, I've... He's only got one hound left, got a loon on that AD. Sweeper's being a little bit of pain, but he's got loons coming in from all sides, so it doesn't really matter. And a loon actually gets in there and takes it out. And uh, he's going to finish this raid with an entire with a hound unpopped, so great job. Uh, got pops all around the base, swag poison, uh, probably for air skellies, I'm going to guess was the plan. So, Or maybe he was supposed to use it for the baby dragon, but either way, this base got wrecked, so uh, great job. I'm going to speed this cleanup up. <laughs> yep, that was a great hit by, uh, by uh, Taminator, so I think that's it. Um, so yeah, great war to uh, Six Schlitzes. This was a really fun one to be a part of. Uh, great win for UGM, even though uh, we had the advantage, it was a fun uh, fun war to be a part of, and uh, hopefully we can match uh, Six Schlitzes again at a different time, possibly, at an even breakdown, that would be really fun, so, yep, and uh, since this is my first video, um, let me know if you liked it, what I can improve on, if the sound quality sucks, sorry, uh, I'll try and get better, so, thanks for watching, and uh, have a good day, oh, and, uh, last thing got a nice arranged war this weekend against uh fulman morte so this is going to be a really fun one uh yeah it's a two i believe two five breakdown yeah so should be a fun war it's actually starting in just a few minutes so gotta go plan some attacks all right later thank you for watching